We're shopping the Sears Draft Antique Mall today. Calm down, everybody, calm down. I know this is very exciting. <laughs> Do you remember when I had a booth in here? It was like a blimp. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was even a year. It was not, no, it was, maybe six months. I don't even remember where it was or not. I'll show you. I had already opened up my booth in the factory and I was like crazy and felt like I just needed to be everywhere all at once. I started putting stuff in here and then I realized I'm spread way too thin. And so, who's calling me? Michael. How rude. Hey, hon. Hey, pumpkin. How are you? Oh, uh, you know. Good. We're uh, filming. We're about to go into the Sears Draft Antique Mall. And... All right. Well, you got to go. I do. I'm sorry. No, no problem. All right. I'll see you when I get home. You were spread way too thin. I was spread too thin. Right. I think that was at the time you were doing a lot of projects. Yes. I was doing a lot more projects. And I was doing well, like, especially for the size. I don't even think it was a full 10 by 10. And it was selling well. I just felt like I was spread way too thin. And so I just consolidated and moved everything to the factory. A little bit about this place. It's about 50 dealers. They've been in business, I think, around 29 years. Why I love shopping it is because you could get through this whole place in about an hour and a half, two hours. And that's like thoroughly picking it, like really digging through and seeing all the good stuff. It's not as overwhelming as no. the factory antique mall. No, not nearly as overwhelming. The prices are always good and reasonable. Mm -hmm. I always find good stuff. I've always found yeah, no, last 10 time plus we came things here, we I got feel like. So much stuff. So we had much a stuff. Huge pile of We did. Them. There's usually a few booths in here that also have some really good just inspirational setups. Mm -hmm. And so I like to look at those as well. So overall this is probably my favorite local place to come and look for stuff. Ooh, that's a bold statement. Is it my favorite? Okay, it, as like like a branded antique place. It just discounting the like Goodwills and thrift stores and stuff, like this, I think this oh, one's my favorite. I see what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. The people Cheap that run it are nice. They're great. It doesn't feel gross. It doesn't which is feel a big gross deal for me. There's always new things. Overall. Is there anything else to say other than just it's to just go a great place to just to go else. show it to them and shop it? <laughs> I'm still bowl and pitcher for 85. So there's stamp. The front's right there. What we normally do is perimeter and then up and down the rows. This is where my booth was. Now it's just one space, but it was just this little right here. That little bit of brick. This little bit of brick. <laughs> wow, memories. Yeah. That's kind of interesting though, right? What or is, is that weird? They have it listed as a colonial style candlestick stand. Buried heights. A little different shape on them, some in color. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting. If we see candles, I kind of want to see what that looks like. I'm sure it looks cool, but also at the same time, I don't like it. <laughs> well, it's 50% off $12. <laughs> oh man. So that's not bad. Weren't you looking for something like this? A snuff? It's got a horse on it and it's etched. 16. Some really nice heavy glass pieces. 24 and 24. 10. That's very nice. A little bud vase. Um, come look at this table over here. It's kind of similar to the one you have in your booth a little bit. Uh, with the gold feet. Oh, it's 20, I know. only 25. I know. It's a deal. Right? Oh. Oh my gosh. You want to know whose booth this is? This is, it, this is where I got my plant stands from. Yeah, this is Marbles. Yeah. This coffee table is I know. so stinking cool. I know. Stop. What? That's cool, eh? 40? The chairs are nice, too. How much is this table? 385. Custom glasswork, like... Yeah. There's some cute stuff here too. I don't know who this is. Acrylic pieces. Vintage. Oh, Lucite. Season's green glasses that I didn't get last year that I should have. Mm -hmm. And now they're here taunting me again. Here they are. 22 for all four. What do we see over here? That's cute. Oh, that's a cute little bud face. Mm -hmm. Scenery etch, 16. Ooh. Usually these are like little cricket boxes, but they don't have any air holes, so a cricket would die in that. A little trinket octagon box with a pewter shells on top for 15. 28 vintage brass vase. Ooh. Lebanon supply? In Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Oh. Oh, wait, I Lebanon. The wrong Lebanon. $12. That's not bad. That's, that's not bad. Really pretty gold. Marble top wash stand. Oh, look at this table. Wow. 95. Really good deal. Is that a drawer? I think it's a whole thing. Ah. The whole thing's a drawer. Wow. Ooh. How much? 145. 54 bucks. I don't love this, but for $54. Is it worth your time and your stress? Maybe. <laughs> Sits in the garage for a year. <laughs> don't out me like that. <laughs> It's 
scrape it off. Scrape it off, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You can bend it different ways. How much is it? 18. That's not bad at all. I think that's, I think that's a yes. Ooh, sale, take 15% off. And this beautiful brass pitcher bowl. Oh, this is very heavy. Oh my gosh, this is 78. This is the kind of stuff I'm looking for here. I've seen her three times and she scared me each time I saw her. Let's move on. <laughs> Spotted some more Goofus glass. These are the biggest ones I've seen personally. 26, very similar to the ones that Amanda got. I don't know if I this one is considered so. It looks like it has a peacock on it. Glass face, yeah, 29. Cool, those are the biggest ones I've seen. Same one, pretty much. Another Goofus glass face. 24, the other one was 29 for this. Because 159, Ain't bad. And I would just switch out the con or the hardware on it to like something brass and, and antique. Go so like this very much. I'm not a fan. But <laughs> it's 18. Teach your own. And then I really like this too for 49 though. The tag reads fabulous eat like fabulous <laughs> East Lake ebonized picture frame and tabletop easel. Little ginger jar. I know. 65. And it has a lid. Well, this dresser's nice too. For 179. This panel piece for 25, hand painted. And your signature's down here. That's more of a spring piece, but it's still very, it's very cute. Yeah, it looks like they have some handmade wire pieces yeah. here. These are quite interesting. You know Lucky Junk? No. Lucky Junk. Check that one out. Lucky Junk. Okay. J U N Q U E. All right, we'll look okay. it up when we get in the car. <laughs> cool, we're going Thank to Williamsburg you. here soon. So. Yes, we are. This is um, 55. Lamps. Ooh, those are cute. Those are cute. I think it's 30 for the pair. There's another one under That's here. Not bad. Right there. Right here. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you so much. 23. As cool. I drop the thing that was holding it. Well, you have to take it now. And a preserved fern in a walnut frame. Let's take it. Do you like it? Kind of. It's kind of a really cute Christmas bag. Press flowers. You went through a press flower phase. I'm still in the press flower phase. <laughs> this this is, is one of the inspiration booths. Yeah. She's on Instagram. At Gringridge Market. Mm -hmm. There's another one. I know. I recorded piece. it already. Oh, it's gorgeous. 225. Early pine dresser. Have you seen a deal like that in a while? No, you haven't. This is what nightmares are made of. I feel like we found a lot of these last time. Similar to Similar them. ones, yeah. Oh. Sheep and lambs. Interesting bowl. Yeah. There's a slit in this one though, but it's $10. That's Teak not, bowl. It, oh, turn around. Oh, it's a big one. It is. $150 on the table. Beautiful detailing. $71 on the bowl. Oh, look at this. 1949 Camp yeah. Virginia Group. Picture. Aww. It's a good one. It is a good one. For 15? Yeah, it's not bad at all. No, it's not. Another turtle. Yeah. Another table. Oh. oh! Shut up. Is this a turtle Stop. ashtray slash trinket box? For 10 bucks, that's not bad at all. Woo! <laughs> I saw that and I didn't know what it was. It's a pineapple lamp. <laughs> I thought you were looking at this. I thought you were moving the pineapple lamp to get a better view. Wait, what is that? Though? I don't know. Cypress knee, just a little bowl. No idea. I know, I know. It's it's gorgeous. It is. $7.95. Ah. And they open like butter. Well, mm, one does. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a good angle. <laughs> I'm solo shopping now. Tori had to leave. What else can I find? 16 and 18. And this one goes with a stopper. This is nice too. For 23. Some dried roses. Ooh, more dried flowers. 25 and a little fern. Let's see a price on it though. I kind of don't want to move it. I don't know what that is. Mid century star candle holder for 20. That is really interesting. Never seen one like that before. Some ironstone, 16. Beautiful. It's a really interesting picture. Let's see if there's a stamp. No stamp. That's okay. I do like it though. Do I like it for 16? We're gonna put it back here for now and I'll think about it. That's awesome. Another really cool picture for 29. See, is there a stamp? Oh, and there is.
It's a weird table. It's really short. From ground up, 25 inches. Vintage work table, gray and chippy for 92. Seven piece set, etched pitcher and glasses for 36. That looks familiar. She has 18 on it. I wish this was a pair. I only see one though. This is only 125. It looks like someone tried to paint it at one point. It's a really great server and it's got a lot of storage space. It could be used as a dresser. Adding it to the mental list. What in the world? Must be a little bank. Just says old metal mailbox. Yes, definitely a little antique bank. That's a beautiful teapot. I really wish antique pots sold better for me, but they never do. So I just don't source them anymore. What is this? Giant funnel for 49. What? That's kind of interesting. What is this? 18? And it says leaf sculpture. It looks like it's supposed to like hold stuff. Is this pewter? Maybe? <laughs> Lidded dish that's all etched for six dollars. Ironstone milk picture. Ribbon design on it. Love the stamp. And it's embossed. Really beautiful piece. 55. Is that not the coolest ironstone pitcher you've ever seen? Ironstone corn pitcher. You can see why it's labeled that. 45. I'm gonna set you guys up right there and show you a few things. I'm back. Pots. They're close to the same color, a little bit of a different design on both. $5 each. Also found this enamel graniteware soap dish for nine. It's in really great shape, a little rust up here and along the sides, but overall, not bad. This stopped me in my tracks. It's so cute. It has on the base a globe bank, and you can see up here where you put your little coins in. The only thing it's missing is like a stopper to cover up the bottom so all your money doesn't fall out. I thought that was adorable and I had to stop and look at it. You're probably wondering what the price is. It says 12. Hmm, what's that? A trumpet flower stand, white, metal base for sure. And what she have on it? 42. What are these for? Are they just collectible little upside down hats? Like are they faces? Wait a minute. This one says it's an ashtray. These are ashtrays? Little square ironstone serving dish. Look at that stamp. And it's got all the crazing that I love. $3. These aren't really antiques. Well, they're not antiques at all. But I love stars like this, like the shape. I see a lot of hang lights and chandeliers that are the shape, and I'm always drawn to them. $5 a piece, not antique, but I like the shape. Now that Tori's gone, I'm getting this. Not super old, but still. It's a light fixture, 75 firm. Lucite waste basket for 25, was 34. Little leaf hanger, one dollar. I saw these when I was walking in. Flower blossom candle holders, 22. But is that for the pair? Yep. I'm gonna leave those for someone else to grab, but those are pretty. Are those flamingos? Early flip top, tin can for 22. With some really cute flamingos all over it and some lilies on top. That is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Did I miss anything? See, they're taunting me as I leave. All right, let me show you guys everything that I picked up. Y'all saw this, you get it, candlestick holder. Folds and bends. It's a little lidded turtle, which I thought was just adorable. Could be a trinket box, could be an ashtray. It's definitely a shape, almost like a little glass display case. Probably not that old. Ooh, 
Ooh, but look at that light shining through there. Pineapple lamp, brass base, brass top, green and orange glass. The plug looks okay. I don't think it's that old, but they must have picked it up from like a thrift store or something. It says $5.99 on the bottom. The walnut framed fern leaf. Black background, I'm sorry, I'm trying to avoid the glare. Square ironstone serving dish with the amazing stamp on the bottom. The big mercury, you can say the word mercury. Why can't you say it in a sentence? The big mercury, the big mercury glass piece. Ooh, that was a struggle. Oh my God. Why can't I talk? And the two smaller mercury, and the two smaller mercury glass pieces. Did I say it? Did I just say it with no issues? Mercury, it's starting to sound weird. Finally, the smallest and cheapest thing, the brass leaf hook, which I might keep. I think I wanna keep this. I really hope y'all enjoyed shopping with me today. We found some really cute little treasures. I left a bunch of stuff behind just because I'm trying to be really picky right now. I have some stuff I need to work through first before I go investing in anything bigger. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed shopping with me today. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Some more mercury glass. Let's try that again. Some more mercury. Some more merc. Never mind. Some glass. <laughs>